Hey everyone and welcome, I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Sims Medieval Game of Thrones. Okay, so there was a little bit of an issue. <laughs> um, I did a rather large batch recording the other day where um, I did several episodes, I came back, and then I did several more. However, um, I've been having a lot of issues with my computer lately, so lately I've been back backing up uh, most of my saves or setting it up to where I have two different save files and thank goodness I did because I had to throw away like three of the episodes that I had recorded. Um, there is a little bit of lost footage that I can't get back unless I were to go through and start the game over, which I'm not going to do. Um, so I'll just kind of give you guys a brief uh, summary of what happened because really not a lot was missed. Um, it basically boils down to is that, um, there was an update in between my two, uh, my two long sessions where I sat down to do recording. Uh, normally I always deny my computer to do any sort of updates just because typically there's always like a huge headache of resetting a lot of stuff. So I'd never update my computer, which I'm sure might not be a good thing. Um, but uh, my computer decided, no, I need to be updated, so I am going to update myself without your permission. So I came in between, um, I came back, like, it was, like, 90% done, and I was like, oh, no, like, I was like, all right, it'll be fine, you know, and I just, I didn't think to check and do a sound test because I had done one earlier in the day, because I always do a sound test because something always goes wrong if you don't do a sound test, and I just didn't think to do one. <laughs> because of the update, which is totally a rookie mistake. Like, I was just, ah, oh, I'm so mad at myself. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and kind of go over what has happened. So I finished up the, uh, the quest, which was insanely short, um, where a shipwreck had happened and Joffrey went to go investigate and sure enough, it was some sort of enemy ship. Uh, and it's the pirates and Arbyville, <laughs> which is the, their country that was attacking. So, um, that was basically it. I'm, I'm telling you, like it was the shortest quest I have ever seen. So we didn't miss much. Um, I did unlock another quest, which I decided not to do because I didn't want to like, uh, concentrate on Joffrey just because we don't like Joffrey. He's evil and we don't necessarily want to like give him much opportunity to seem anything other, but the evil usurper that he is, uh, we selected a quest with the Fountain of Legend um, for Sam to do. He is the blood letter, uh, aka physician, and he ended up having kind of like this daydream type of vision uh, where he, uh, of all the strange tales shared in Westeros, the Fountain of Legend was the most told. A miraculous pole that granted every wish to those who could find it. Many had tried in vain to find proof of his existence. But what if someone actually did find it? What wonders would await the worthy soul? So, uh, this is uh, centered around Sam. And I've been... Uh, I don't know why it's saying this is... Uh, yeah, turn on. Okay, weird. Um, so... Here is our place of business. I've been running around gathering items, so I'm falling a little bit behind the quest. I mean, the quest is like literally pretty much just started, so nothing major has really happened. Um, but he kind of remembered that the fountain sounds like it's something out of his favorite book about reading about a heroic quest is far less strenuous than actually going on one. So we need to read some of his favorite book, which he has in his inventory. Okay. The vision of the fountain returned unbidden to bloodletter Samwell, accompanied now by a soothing, ethereal voice. Poor broken soul, your torture has been endured too long. If you desire to be cleansed is true, and your heart is equal to the task, come seek me out, for I will remake you. I have such power. You can be better, purer, stronger. The prophecy faded as quickly as it came, leaving blood letter Samwell wondering what it meant. Um, so I kind of chose this quest for Sam because, so he was the, uh, 
Let's see here. Let's have him craft some citrus infusions potions while we sit here and chit chat about Sam. Uh, so it looks like I need to go to town and buy some citrus. Uh, but I can make a weak health salve. Uh, but Sam, well, was the heir to his, um, uh, his, like, his lands. Uh, his father is Lord Tarly. However, he is a very brutish man and doesn't see any value in study and being scholarly and kind. So he told Sam that if you don't go north and take the black, which is kind of like this, um, they protect, they're the Brotherhood of the Watch, which is why I put Sam in black. Uh, he, you know, that he would kill him. So he <laughs> had to leave. Uh, so his younger brother is now his heir, who is uh, a lot like his father, um, you know, hunting, very manly, Things like that. Uh, so let's give this person the weak health salve. Okay, got 50, uh, 40 gold from that. Nice, nice. And let's have him go to the village shop. Um, so the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch protects Westeros from White Walkers, which are like kind of zombies, which nobody believes are real, um, but they are real. And also, um, wildlings, so they're kind of like raiders in the north. And Sam is very weak and, you know, very soft in the beginning, but he actually comes into his own once he realizes that he has people to protect and that his carrying his own weight could mean everything and tipping the scales so he becomes very fiercely protective of people who grow close to him and so he does he kind of evolves over time and he even becomes the first person in like centuries to ride out like kill like a white walker which is huge huge um and his father doesn't believe him you know i mean it's like this whole thing uh so that's why i gave Sam this quest because it will actually replace his fatal flaw with a heroic trait if I do everything correctly. So let's see here. Um, so apples, I need apples to do crafting. I know that. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase those. Uh, let's just put these in order, shall we? Okay. So I'm going to buy all the citrus and honey i need honey but it seems to be a really rare staple but it's something that i constantly need for crafting so i'll have to make a point to come back to the uh to town occasionally so that way i can uh, stock up on it the physician is seriously like probably my favorite um, profession in this game to play. The second being probably the spy. Uh, it's just, it's, it really is. It's a lot of fun. Like I love, um, you know, I love going around and gathering. I love the crafting portion of it. Uh, it, it really is. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so citrus, infusion, potion. Okay. So, looks like we've got a couple of people to treat in our waiting room. So, let's go ahead and treat midwife Estrella, Estrelda. So, what we have to do is we have to drain her blood with leeches. This is how many leeches we have in our inventory. And we need to drain her blood down to this kind of golden area and then treat her. After we treat her, we'll be able to um, get her up off the table. But if we can treat her within like this golden area, she'll be treated completely versus like only partially. So let's see here. Drain Sam. We'll use some leeches. 
Shim. She's like, uh. <laughs> She's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> okay, so let's do it a few more times. So that way we can get. Drain some, use some leeches. And then we're kind of close to that golden area, so maybe we'll just use one. Okay. And let's go ahead and medicate her. Six Sims are probably going to be an abundance since the wellness in our kingdom is super down. Uh, the patient has been fuel, uh, fuely, yes, fully cured. <laughs> fully cured. Excellent, excellent. All right, uh, deliver the citrus infusions. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's see here. So we're still kind of falling behind in our quests. We're taking a little bit too long to do everything. It takes a little while to set up the healer and uh, get everything done. You know, uh, get a lot of leeches, uh, well water. We do need well water. This guy, I hate this guy so much. Next time I'm Joffrey, I'm throwing him in the stocks because he is constantly at this well and it's like, I really need to be here and like interact with it. Like, so it's inconvenient that he's like constantly there. Uh, so let's see here. Let's have him collect some things on his way back home. Maybe uh, do some fishing. So that way we can make some better meals. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna have him out all night. Kind of feel bad. He's gonna be in a bad mood. <laughs> but I wanna just try and get him set up so that way I can go through a bunch of the steps in the quest without having to worry about much of anything else. So make food, let's make a salmon, salmon soup. And then hit the hay. All right, so sleep. And he's got a lot of good buffs, so he should be able to do things pretty well and pretty quickly. Next up, the fountain trial almost feels like a real adventure, which reminds me that I have not caught up with a real storybook here, uh, storybook heroes. So we need to read a little bit more out of our favorite book. And is this vision the first step down the path of madness? I have to confide in someone. Talk to Lord Joffrey about the vision. And I seem to recall overhearing a tale of magical fountain during my last trip to the village. So ask a townsperson about the, uh, the fountain. Uh, let's see here. So we need to... Let me, let me have him do that. We need to research symptoms for two hours. I must stay ahead of the new diseases that I see each day. Spending a little time to research symptoms would be good. And collect herbs or plants five times. Okay. So all of that is relatively easy. So let's go ahead and research symptoms. But well, this is like the second day in a row Arya's been in the waiting room. So we might have to... Uh, oh my god. Like I'm only getting like one XP out of this. Yeah, uh, our intelligence or knowledge being down in the kingdom. I guess is putting like a damper on... RXP. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anyone's injured or sick right now. So I guess people are just hanging out. Um, oh, you can purchase crafts from Arya. What can we purchase from her? <laughs> it's gonna be like poisons or something. Mystic Grog. Instantly drunk. True tonic. Yeah, so it's like, uh, basically everything that she can make currently. Interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, somebody is definitely sick now. Uh, let's ask this gal about the fountain. Poor Margie. Oh. 
that's quite a story, Sam, but I'm sorry. I try not to meddle in fortunes and visions. However, that bit about the fountain, I recently heard a fable going around town of spark of a sparkling fountain granting wishes of a lost farmer, or was it a wandering monk and a pond of everlasting youth? Mayhaps you should locate one of them. Hmm, okay. Uh... So let's treat this guy. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with him, but it doesn't look good. Assistant pig keeper Baldwin. Okay. Oh wow, his uh, points are up super high. So drain Sim. Use some leeches. Probably gonna have to do this several times. One more time to do the trick. Oh no, I got him a little bit below the golden area, but we'll go ahead and treat him and see what happens. For the most part, he'll be mostly cured, if not all the way. Fully cured. Awesome. Alright. Uh, so let's read some more of our book. And... Uh, nothing better than going on an incredible mine adventure. That's where I'm a pirate. Okay, ooh, he's uh, level two now. So gather various herbs, diagnose sims, treat their wounds and cure sickness, can craft salves, tonics, and other potions at the crafting table. Slightly higher chance for more effective treatments. Excellent. All right. Uh, our daily task of collecting the herbs is going to be super easy because... You know, I mean, we've got all this stuff right here, just waiting for us to gather it. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to speak to Joffrey. So let's go to the palace and make some food. Since he is, like, super hungry. Eel soup? Sure, why not? Sounds delicious. And then let's go and speak to Joffrey. Oh, what happens if we kneel before the throne? <laughs> like, do we get to, like, request for something? Oh, no, we just kneel in front of it. Okay. Um, so discuss vision. And we gotta wait for him to come off the throne, I guess. Uh, so who will Bloodletter Samwell seek out to learn about the fountain? The fabled peasant or locate the virtuous monk? Uh, let's talk to the peasant about it. Oh, Arya's requesting something? <laughs> hmm. Okay, now he's done. So let's discuss the vision. Hail Bloodletter Samwell, a strange voice in an image of a fountain? Sounds as if you've been selected for a personal quest. I don't know how I can help, and truthfully, I'm much too busy to go chasing dreams. I've always found benefit from delving into the past, so my advice is to learn more through study. Luck be with you. Alright. Uh, so reach, search, and study, I suppose that means I have some reading uh, ahead of me. Best start by pursuing some bookshelf, or per pursuing, pursuing, per, per using, <laughs> per perusing, got it, got it, okay. So let's browse, oh wow, there's a lot of books in here. Not surprised the bookshelf has no tales referencing legends of a fountain. Fictional stories by nature do not have much practical use. The story is a popular one in the village, and the shop there is always getting items from wandering travelers. That may be a better place for me to look for anything that will illuminate my vision. Alright. Uh, so... Let's pop into the village then and see if we can't find the book that we're looking for. I also uh, hope to find some honey there since like they didn't have some the other day. Uh, so let's 
Okay, so four honey. Let's buy those. Um, and take a look at that. Fabulously Foolish Fables. Add to cart. Is there anything we can sell? Because I feel like I'm starting to like run out of money um, kind of quickly. So all of this stuff, I'll be able to, you know, make back or like get back essentially. So, um, yeah, and that's it. I mean, apples, but okay. Excellent. So let's collect some things on our way around, uh, see what else we've got to do. So find the book and read it. Fa did that. This fountain trial almost feels like a real adventure. Uh, so read our other book that we have. And finding a virtuous person in Westeros would be like finding a mana stone in a chamber pot. Oh god. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. The deviousness is real. Okay, let's uh, discover that and collect it. Collect the nightshade, even though I don't think we'll need nightshade, but um, I'd be able to sell it, probably. Uh, so there's a lot of plants around that need to be discovered. Even though Arya discovered these, I think um, Sam has to discover them for himself. So... Alright. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so go here. So it looks like our peasant is in the stocks. Uh, as Sam arrived on the hill that housed the gruesome implements of the kingdom's justice, he noticed several unfamiliar figures miserably imprisoned in the stocks. Upon a closer inspection, Sam recognized a figure from the peasant's earlier description. A sudden flare of pain reminded him that their continued well-being was his only chance to figure out the vision. Alright, so... Uh, Lord Joffrey must be made to see that this is a clear case of false imprisonment. Ask Lord Joffrey to leave us a good present Jess. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a very, very common in uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> for good people to have horrible things happen to them, so that doesn't surprise me at all that that has happened to that poor girl. So, uh, we will definitely ask Joffrey to release her. So, hopefully he'll do it. I guess we'll see. Uh, first thing in the morning, we'll make some food and see what our tasks are. Hopefully, it'll be easy to do. Um, so... We'll actually also be able to wake up like at a decent time as well. So make food, seed porridge. Okay, have a meal. Let's uh, collect these. Okay, um, we need to do two curative rum tonics. Oh, in the inventory. Put them in the inventory. Pirates hate taking their medicine. I'm reduced to hiding the tonic in their favorite drink, Captain Grimm's blood rum. Like I would a child. Um, not that I'd give a child blood rum. <laughs> oh, God. And then diagnose two sims. One of my duties is to be aware of the health of the kingdom. Getting out and diagnosing a few people will give me a good indicator of how we're do well we're doing. All right, uh, so let's physician, diagnose, elder, hunter, more, no, this is the chinchilla hunter guy. Physician, diagnose. Oh, I could. 
administer the cure. I do have one room tonic on me. Um, I'm probably going to have to go... Because I think it's like a couple honeys per rum tonic that you need. So I'll probably have to go to... Um, oh no, diagnose with a disease. Okay, uh, so let's go to town first. And see if we can't buy more honey. I'm hoping that they restocked. Because it's either like two or three per. So, alright. Add to cart, buy items. Um. Oh, it's two per. Okay. And you have to make weak curative tonics first. Okay, rum tonic. And rum tonic. Alright. So, take two of these and thank me in the morning. <laughs> Give Pirate the curative rum tonics. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right, so let's read the books that we have, because that will be easy enough to move the quests along. The fable, while an entertaining read, did not provide much in the way of details on how to locate the fountain itself. A large portion of the story seems to be missing, and the remaining tale appeared authored in several different voices. I see. Okay. Um, and then now let's go talk to Joffrey. Oh gosh, I should have done this like earlier. Like the poor thing, she's like been in there like all day. <laughs> kind of forgot. Uh, alright. Let's see what he says. Oh, he's thinking evil thoughts so. <laughs> though. Cannot just let good peasant Jess run free. Despite her, your standing in Westeros, Samwell, she violated our laws and justice must be served. Otherwise, the kingdom will descend into lawlessness. However, if someone would be willing to take her place in the stocks or cover the fine, only then can I authorize her proper release. Oh, God. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just um, pay... <laughs> I'm kind of broke, but uh, I'll do it. What offense requires a fine of 200 gold? Better go uh, feed a messenger post with my hard-earned coin. Yeah. Alright, so let's pay her fine. And with the fees paid, I should be able to pick an, up an official pardon from Royal Advisor Beatrice. Seems the bail has been paid in full, though why you would spend it on freeing some errant wanderer, I have not the slightest. Regardless of your motives, you have earned this royal pardon. Simply present it to Bertrand, the executioner. Oh gosh, the executioner. <laughs> okay, so request release from stocks. Official orders to release a prisoner, huh? Well, who am I to argue with Lord Joffrey? I will take the pardon off your hands, and Constable will be along shortly to open the stocks. Okay, here comes the Constable. Oh no. Oh, poor thing. Hey, right, all, after all this good peasant Jess had better have some answer to my strange vision. Oh. <laughs> so you give for throwing a tomato at her, dude. Get answers. Hmm. 
Lapsus plus Eric. Thank you for all you have done, Bloodletter Samwell. As I was entering Westeros, a shadowy figure held me up, though I did not possess any coin. When the constable came, the thief claimed that I was the culprit and disappeared into the crowd. Next thing I knew, I was being marched to the stocks. As a reward for your service, I would like to give you an old map that has served me well. However, that bandit made off toward the graveyard with it. If you can retrieve it, it might just, uh, it just might provide you with the answers you seek. I see... Okay, somehow I doubt the thief will be willing to part with a map if I just ask nicely. Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably uh, kind of friends of thieving, shady, Nessie. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to be as simple as just asking. What business is it, of, uh, is it of yours, blood letter, Samuel? Perhaps I lightened that arrogant foreigner's pouches a bit, and perhaps I did not. Either way, I certainly have no intention of handing anything over to you. Just because you asked, certainly not for free. Okay, uh, so 50 gold for a map to the fountain and avoiding a confrontation? Sold! <laughs> okay, purchase, sold a map. Oh, gosh. I'm running out of money. Oh, it's humiliated. Humiliation tends to rear his ugly head just behind the heap of insulting comments. Pleasure doing business with you, Blood Letter Samuel. Hope you enjoy your new incomprehensible map. Find me later, and I may have a fresh supply of magic beans for sale. <laughs> okay. Ah, alright, alright, I see, I see. She doesn't think it's real, but little does she know. Alright, so let's have Sam make some food. And then hit the hay afterwards. Gosh, I'm like running out of money fast. Hopefully I won't have to buy much else. Alright, uh, sleep. Okay. And, um... We'll have him gather some stuff, and then what's next? With the map showing the general location of the fountain hidden in the foothills, the quickest way is through the forest. I see. So we'll have him collect some stuff and then head out to the forest. Uh, as Bloodletter Samuel slept, nascent, nascent, yeah, feelings of comfort and happiness began to solidify into a beautiful dream. In the distance, soft music was carried on a fragrant spring breeze, and smiling faces cleared his approach. Samuel could set, see a shining golden row leading towards a breathtaking paradise. In the opposite direction, the road faded into a thick mist, through, though Samuel could almost make out a dark and still bedchamber, barely visible through the fog. So he could either embrace joy or, or control the dream. Uh... Let's embrace joy. Oh, nice. Uh, join, uh, Sam joined the cheering crowd of familiar faces and was carried steadily towards a vision of paradise. Before Sam knew it, bliss surrounded him like a warm, secure blanket. A hundred beautiful scenes, each filled with a thousand precious moments, paraded across his senses. Within every second, a lifetime was lived in joy and cheer. Each I uh iteration greater than last so we got pipe dreams oh gosh and now <laughs> uh let's listen to big call oh uh when we think a dream featuring featuring woohoo pirates cute scribes highwaymen and chocolate would be fun but in practice it just got confusing perhaps you shouldn't have eaten that extra serving of girl yesterday <laughs> Wait, what buff? Okay, so I got like one good buff from the dream, the pipe dream, which lasts eight hours. But the wait, what? <laughs> lasts a day? Oh my gosh. That seems a bit unfair, but oh well. Alright, let's uh, make some food. He's not necessarily hungry just yet, but he will be by the time we like get to the forest. Uh, eat seed porridge. Okay, I need to change my privacy so that way people can't come up here. Um, 
Well, I thought... Privacy. Make room private to owner. Okay. All right. So let's go on to the forest. And we'll have him uh, collect some st stuff while I he's out here. According to the map, oh yeah, and the foothills. So, our queue is full. Search for fountain. Uh, give first aid to two people. And craft and deliver weak curative tonic. Okay. Thick forest canopy blocked bloodletter Samwell's view of the sun, leaving him aimless in the endless gloom. Finding the tallest tree, Sam slowly climbed its gnarled branches to perch in the sunlight above a sea of greenery. Sounds of a small stream echoed in a short way to the west, while north, the thick of wood thinned into the foothills of the majestic mountains. Uh, we can either follow the stream or head toward the hills. Uh, let's follow the stream. The forest gloom gave way to a bright clearing ringed by ancient trees and uh, in the center of the glade amid soft grass and wildflowers stood an ancient fountain bubbling with sparkling clear water. As Sam gazed in awe, a familiar ethereal voice echoed throughout the meadow. You have passed the first trial in finding me, bloodletter Samwell. However, that is something anyone with enough determination or a map can accomplish. Before you can be remade, your devotion and need must be tested. Take a small portion of my essence with you, add it to the water of Westeros, and listen to your next trial. Alright. So, um, after a very precarious climb, Bloodletter Samwell hoisted himself into a ledge and out of the fog, uh, onto the ledge. Uh, heaving for a breath, Sam looked up to behold a small sunlit grove with an ancient golden fountain bubbling at his center. Alright, cool. So we found the thing, and, uh, had to mis mix this essence of the fountain into Westeros' water. So I can retrieve my next, uh, receive my next trial. Would adding this to the town well work? Uh, let's go ahead and medicate it. Oh wait, no, not medicate. Uh, so, oh, we gotta go here first before it'll, um, give us the prompt, I guess. V is with legendary fountain water. Do 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 do. Found essence is infused into Westeros' water. Now, how do I commune with it for my next trial from here? I'll commune with fountain. In a verse, the ethereal voice of the fountain resonated deep from within the now sparkling well to provide bloodletter Samwell's next trial. That of de uh, devotion. Your determination has been proven, Sam. Now your commitment to change must be weighed. Sacrifice that which you hold most dear as an offering to this will, um, to this well, and you shall be closer still to perfection. Okay, give up that which I most hold dear, not my heroic tales. I will copy my favorite parts at a scribe table before it goes down the well. Okay. Uh, so I don't have a, a scribe table at home. So I might buy one. Uh, so let's... What was I supposed to cure? The salve or the tonic? Oh, it was a tonic. And then give first aid to two people. So... Okay, uh, give the tonic, 
So, physician, administer cure. Health salve, does that count as one? Oh, no. Okay, so maybe treating for sickness would count. So, use some leeches. Some leeches. One leech. And medicate. Okay, does that count? No? <laughs> Maybe I have to diagnose them first. So... Diagnose with an infection. Apply first aid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I don't... Uh, that was... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Physician, apply first aid. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Thank god uh, the science of medicine has advanced. <laughs> Okay, uh, so it looks like he's about to be hungry. So seed porridge. Eat. And let's see here. Uh, let's purchase. A scribe table. And put it in here. Okay, transcribe lore. Okay. I have re uh, the requested offering. I just need to send it down the well. Easy enough. Make offering to fountain. <laughs> there is Ned. We haven't seen him in forever. Maybe next. Um, quest will do it with Ned. That goes. Sam dropped the offering into the well. A sudden flash of golden light momentarily lit the dark, watery depths. Your offering is acceptable. Your next trial is one of need. Return to me with proof that you are indeed a flawed creation and you shall be one step closer to perfection. Uh, so... Flawed, meaning his fatal flaw, so he's puny. He He's sore if he uh, uses high-impact objects, which lowers his mood. Uh, Sim will lose fights more often, lose king ball matches more often, and get drunk faster. So, let's see here. He says, I can easily prove I am weak by doing just about anything strenuous. Thus, my unrealized dream of becoming a fiddling phenom or master whittler. Um... <laughs> Okay, so that should be easy enough. I want to try and get his mood up a little bit more as well, though. Uh, so, let's see here. Let's have him do some fishing. I need to make some money. Um, let's see. So, do some fishing and then do some collecting. Some leeches while we're at it. Alright, and then uh, go to town. Because I'd also like to uh, get him a bath or maybe like upgrade his house a little bit. Um, so that way, like his mood will be more improved, uh, which will lend to the success of. Completing everything in this um, quest because the 
requests that give oh there's a messenger box there oh see i knew there was like another one like on this side of town i just couldn't remember wh where it was um 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 okay so we're s okay well first did i buy honey today no okay so let's buy all the honey that they have oh my god i am running out of money okay so let's sell what was it 35 Credium? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I got that from, but I'll sell that. Sell the eel. Sell some of my lord leaf pond scum. It's only worth one simul, but I'll get rid of it. Ooh, wow. Yeah, man. Fishing is where it's at. Um, Valorute sells pretty nicely. Lord Leaf, Nightshade. I don't need Nightshade as a healer, so I'll go ahead and sell all of that. Okay, sell. Okay, wow. Yeah, so I got a bit of money to spend now. Uh, as Sam made his way through the crowded streets, he saw a seedy looking man calling out to him. The little man gave his pet boar a pat on the head and flashed a toothless grin. He held up some seashells and a pearl. Let's place a bet. Fifty golden symbols. Says you can't find the pearl. Sam laughed defiantly. He would accept the challenge of the shell game man for fifty symbols, or the man looked sketchy very much so. Perhaps it was better to save the gold than avoid potential trickery. Um, normally I think Sam would refuse a bet, but I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what happens, so. Uh, Sam slapped the gold symbols on the gambler's makeshift table. The toothless con man held up a pearl, gave a, der a derisive, der, 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 I don't know. I'm <laughs> like, uh, I think I know how to say that normally, but, uh, cackle and... Copped it swiftly under one of his shells. His shells moved swiftly, far too swiftly, in fact, for Sam to have a fighting chance. The gambler, gambler cackled as Sam walked off with a somewhat lighter purse. Dropped. Okay. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, so let's have him come home and sleep. Uh, let's sit here and try and make his place a little bit nicer looking. So, wood... Um, uh, let's see, like, I kind of want to sit here and upgrade things as we go along, maybe, um, if I ever get some time. Uh, oh, wow, that's pretty cool looking. So, fabric and murals. Miscellaneous, simplicity. So, I mean, eh. oh, wow. <laughs> the dream. <laughs> um, I mean, his place isn't too bad. So, maybe let's just, like, color his walls a little bit. So, um, there we go. And then maybe... A little bit of decor, so maybe a surface. Okay, well, first I want to be sure that I can purchase a tub. Oh, I can, and that seems to be about it. <laughs> uh, so let's put it by the fire. And as for... Oh, wow. Decorations. Yeah. I am... I have run out of money super fast. Uh, so mirrors, maybe... Yeah, let's get him a mirror, and then uh, hopefully that'll kind of improve his mood, so we'll have him sleep, and then make food in the morning. But guys, that's it, gonna, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for hanging out, and if you want to see more content, be sure to hit that like button, and perhaps check out my channel memberships and the perks that you get by hitting the join button down below. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.